A brief history of the English language. Enjoy. Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope that you're all doing well. So today we're going to look at a brief history of the English language. Maybe you've ever wondered before why English is quite unique and there isn't any other language very similar to it. Well, we're going to look at those reasons why today. Um, at its base, English is a Germanic language, but over 50% of its vocabulary comes from French and Latin. Hence why we have a strange mix um, of influences in the English language. Um, first of all, look at, let's look at some other native languages that exist in the UK. Over 2,000 years ago, different groups of tribes, collectively known as the Celts, or the Celtic peoples, lived in the British Isles, which is now the United Kingdom, and Ireland, and in some parts of France as well. They spoke different languages, some of which some exist today, for example in Scotland, Scottish Gaelic, in Wales, Welsh, and in the southwest of England, Cornish, and also um, in Ireland, the Republic of Ireland, um, Irish Gaelic, which exists today. So I'd say some of these Celtic languages still exist today and they are absolutely nothing like English. No similarities at all. So what are the origins of the English language as we know it today? The core of the English language came from the Anglo-Saxons who were different Germanic groups who arrived to England in the 5th and 6th centuries. So after the Anglo-Saxons and Jutes who made up the Anglo-Saxons arrived in England, they seized the whole country for themselves and pushed the native Celtic tribes back to Wales and Cornwall. And of course their Germanic languages became widely spoken throughout England. So this is where the origins of English come from. So at this time it was called Old English or it was also called Anglo-Saxon and this was a language spoken in England before the 12th century. So that is why English is at its core a Germanic language. However, if you look at Old English, you'll see that it's very different from the English that we use today. This is because this is before the French and Latin influence. Um, if you would like to see more of the English language, the most famous written text in Old English is Beowulf. So after that, the next major change to the English language was with the arrival of... So in the 9th century, the Norse people from Scandinavia began to invade Europe. And in the, tw uh, the 10th century, the Danes invaded the northeast of England and founded a new kingdom. Of course, they brought their language with them, which was known as Old Norse. Old Norse no longer exists. It was very similar to Old English, as they both came from the same family, Germanic. Therefore, a lot of the words that entered into the English language remained undetected for centuries. You can see some examples below. So although the Vikings arrived to England, and brought with them their language, Old Norse. As said before, it was very similar to Old English, so it didn't make a huge change to the language itself, although it did introduce some new words. The biggest change came from when the Normans from France arrived to England and brought with them the French language. So the Normans invaded England in 1066, and they came from Normandy and Northern France. However, they were actually also originally Vikings from Scandinavia. Once they arrived in England, they changed everything. They adopted the French feudal system and French as the official language. Within 20 years, the French language became established as prestigious, a language associated with high social class. French remained the official language of England until 1366. However, the general population continued to speak Old English, the mixture of the Anglo-Saxon Saxon and Norse languages and French and Latin was used by the clergy. However, both of these slowly evolved into the modern English we know today. So as I mentioned, the English that you all know, the English that we use today, was a result of the Old English, which was used by the peasants, the common folk in England, mixed with French and Latin, used by the higher classes in England, as French was the official language. Um, so they merged over time and eventually formed the English that we know today. Um, so as I said, French was associated with the higher class and Old English with the peasants. This is still obvious in our language today. For example, when we have two words that mean the same thing. Um, I'll give you an example. Um, child, which comes from the Germanic um, language, is like a normal word, but we have a doublet, infant. That obviously comes from the French or Latin word. And if you hear, if you speak to an English speaker, 
the French um, derivative sounds fancier. Um, another example would be folk, would be the old Germanic, and people coming from the, the Latin French influence. Another one, freedom, old English, and liberty coming from the French and Latin. As I said, there's loads of other words, such as some examples, um, and the the ones that come from the French and Latin origin always sound a bit fancier and can maybe use more in an academic sense and things like that. Um, okay, so I hope you enjoyed um, a brief little history. Um, of course, today so much is changing with the internet and globalisation, so who knows where the language is going to go? Who knows what the next step will be? Um, okay, if you have any questions or comments, then please leave them below. And I hope you enjoyed. Bye.